In today's video, I will go over a simple tutorial on how to use the awesome matrix on the Ulanzi Smart Pixel Clock. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Alan Gadgets. In my last video, I did a review on the Ulanzi Smart Pixel Clock. If you haven't watched that already, do click on the link above. And to follow up on that, today I'm going to do a simple tutorial on how to use the awesome matrix or trick in short on this Ulanzi Pixel Clock. So let's go over the few things that you will need to get Autric to work. First, you need the Autric itself and the Java runtime. A PC to run the Autric on, it can be a laptop or a desktop. And the last but not least, you will need a compatible clock to run the Autric on. So the first part of this tutorial will have you set up the Autric itself on your PC. There's no installation needed for the Autric files. The file that you need to run is called Autric.jra. Once you have run the Autric JR file successfully, you will notice that a few folders and files will be automatically created. Next, you need to find the port that the Autric is using. Now that you got Autric running on your PC, you will need to go into the user interface to change the settings and configurations. In my case, I'll be using Chrome. You type in the IP and the port on the address bar and it will lead you to the Autric page. At this point, you should see the error of not connecting to your clock because we haven't applied the settings and configuration on the clock yet. Up until now, we are only talking about the configuration and setting on the Autric side. Now let's move to the next part, which is setting up the Ulan Z Pixel clock to work with the Autric. If you are still unsure on how to set up the Ulanzi Pixel Clock for the first time, please refer to the review that I have mentioned before up in the link above, which include the guide on how to do the setup and configuration for the first time. Go back to the Autric user interface and you should see the status of not connected change to connected. You might need to refresh the page for that to happen. And at this point, the Pixel Clock and the Autrix are considered linked successfully together. And from here on, you can download the app from the Autrix onto the Pixel Clock. There's not much new apps coming up because the project itself has been abandoned but what you have in there should suffice for most of your needs and if you really want more new apps you could write them yourself but that is a tutorial that I will not be going into. After you download the app you can configure the settings and then choose to run them on the pixel clock. Now I'm going through the whole process quickly on how to get the apps from the app stores, how to configure them, how to change the settings and then apply download onto the pixel clock to run it. One key thing to remember is that when you are running Autric on the Pixel Clock, you have to disable everything except the Autric itself. When I first started playing with the Pixel Clock, I wanted to run Autric alongside with 
other functions like the YouTube counter and the time clock but after a few cycles the clock actually went to factory reset I came to realize after a few tries that it's because of this combination just be aware that if you're not able to run it successfully for the first time it might be a firewall blocking the port so you can either add that exception in the firewall or use a different port so that's my short tutorial on how to run the awesome matrix on the Ulan Z smart pixel clock if you run into any problem or having trouble setting this up please do raise your question in the comment section below and I'll try to help and guide you along as best as I could. Okay, that's all I have for you today in this video and if you find this tutorial helpful or interesting in any way, do click on the like button and share this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!